Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Marco, coming from Marco Geich Music. Bringing a little bit of a different video today actually. So usually I do finger style covers, but I wanted to actually make a review video on my brand new Boss Acoustic Singer Live amplifier. The reason why I got this amplifier was to really expand my horizons and go play shows at different places, local events, go play community events, and uh, expand my guitar playing to more than just YouTube. So this thing came out sometime around early 2017 and it's become one of the most popular amplifiers that Boss offers. I think the benefit of it really is, is uh, it's the baby version of the Acoustic Singer Pro, which retails for well over $1,000. This one actually retails for $699 Canadian. And it's one of the more affordable acoustic amplifiers on the market. And I think it suits a lot of the needs of uh, smaller scale musicians that are working on a budget, but they also want great tone. So what I ultimately want to achieve in this video is to just go over some of the key features, discuss some of them, and then do a bit of a test for you. So we're going to make this review really quick. So just starting off some of the technical specs, it is a 60 watt amplifier, comes with a six and a half inch speaker. The amp has many different features like uh, a harmony feature if you want to sing along with your acoustic playing. It has a looper feature that it comes with. And you might be wondering, you know, is it going to be loud for the types of events that I'm playing? My honest opinion is absolutely yes. Um, I try to turn it up to maximum. It is incredibly loud uh, for a 60 watt amp. And if you are concerned about audio levels and things of that nature, honestly, just mic it up. Uh, if you go and play any kinds of shows, they're going to have PA systems. All you have to do is just mic it up. You get beautiful tone from this amplifier, which you'll see a little bit later. And, and it really covers the needs of a musician working on a budget. And that was the main reason why I picked up this amp. So you might be wondering, you know, what exactly is with these two levels of knobs over here. The first level is where you plug in your guitar, gives you all your standard features, like, you know, your volume knob, standard EQ. Uh, you have chorus, reverb, uh, the looper function when you're playing your instrument. And one of the most interesting features that we're going to test out in a bit is actually the anti-feedback notch. So what's great about this is, you know, when you're playing with an acoustic instrument and you're plugged in, it tends to create a lot of feedback when you turn up the volume. This knob right here actually allows you to adjust where that ringing noise is kicking in and it cancels it out entirely. So whenever you're playing any kind of live performance, it really, really comes in handy from that standpoint. On the top half of the knobs over here, you get the same thing, EQ, uh, anti-feedback notch as well, but you have a microphone input. So if you're playing acoustic uh, music, you also want to plug in, sing as well. This is the ultimate power punch. It gives you everything that you need. Top that with a harmony feature. So if you want the amp to automatically harmonize with uh, your singing, right? So it goes an octave higher or lower, makes you sound great. It is an absolutely fantastic feature. So in, in terms of a starting point and what a lot of musicians start with, you know, what's the price like? I think the price is very reasonable considering the features that you get with this amp. And the best thing about the amp really is you can pick up a Boss stomp pedal if you want. It is sold separately, but it allows you to fi fiddle with uh, the looper pedal function, the harmony function, and really customize the amp to how you you want it to run. Uh, so in this video, I'm not going to be covering that extended feature just because I don't have it on me, but you can watch several separate reviews and most people say great things about this. One other thing I also wanted to mention in this video was uh, the acoustic resonance feature. So one thing is you might be wondering, you know, Marco, what is the point of me getting a, an acoustic amp if I have an electric guitar amp already? Can't I just plug my acoustic into that? Um, the tone doesn't exactly sound that great on most electric amplifiers. I find that getting an acoustic amp really projects that natural acoustic guitar sound that you're looking for, and it is well worth the investment. And the great thing about this amp in particular is that it actually gives you a feature called acoustic resonance. As you fiddle with this function, it actually produces an even more acoustic sounding feel, and it just sounds fantastic in person when you listen to it. It's going to be a bit hard to convey over video, but uh, you hopefully you'll get a bit of a sense for how it sounds when I mic it up and everything. Okay, so just to keep this video nice and short, concise to the point, I'm just going to test this amp out, show you a couple of different functions, and we'll go from there. Okay, so right now you have a bit of an up-close view of the Boss Acoustic Singer Live. What I really want to achieve with this is just to give you guys a visual of uh, some of the settings that are on the amp, and as I fiddle with some of them, you can get an idea of the different types of tones that it can produce. So the amp is mic'd up right now, and we'll give it a bit of a test. So volume is set about a quarter way, EQ is balanced at the moment, and we have a little bit of reverb turned on. So I'll just turn up the reverb a tad bit, and this is kind of the idea that you get. Okay. Okay, 
so hopefully that gives you a bit of an idea of how it sounds without the acoustic resonance sound turned on. So as I was mentioning before, uh, when you don't have this turned on, it sounds a little bit more electric, if anything. When you turn it on, the acoustic resonance feature, it has three different versions of it. You, you hear it sound a lot more acoustic, a lot more natural. So that's going to be the next thing that we're going to test out. <laughs> sort of get a better idea of the different types of tones that it produces. I'm not quite sure how it's going to turn out on video, but you can definitely notice the difference when you're in person. Uh, the second that you start messing with the acoustic resonance feature, it really gives it a different, more natural tone coming out of the amp, and I really, really enjoy fiddling with it. So that's awesome. Uh, so next up, we'll just talk a bit about the anti-feedback notch. Uh, if I can turn up the volume a little bit. You hear how it's doing that? There we go. So you notice how it starts clipping and it's gonna sound like shit on the mic there, but this anti-feedback notch allowed me to cut out that ringing noise permanently. And this is very, very practical for use in any kind of live playing scenarios and, and it's one of my favorite features about the amp. Uh, I'll just give you a quick test also how it sounds uh, with chorus turned on. So let's give it a shot. <laughs> And then finally, just to wrap up the video, uh, just to give you a basic understanding of the looper function, I don't have the pedal on me at the moment, so it's going to sound kind of shitty because I'm going to have to press on this area of the amp. But just to give you an idea how it sounds, and it's a lot of fun to mess around with. So here we go. that gives you guys a bit of an idea what the amp sounds like. There's a lot of features that I didn't exactly cover in this video. I definitely urge you to go to your local guitar store, check out the Boss Acoustic Singer Live, and uh, leave a comment on this video. Let me know what you think about it. Um, a lot of the times, uh, these videos aren't going to give you that natural representation of how it sounds in person, and I strongly urge you, go check it out in person. Let me know what you think of it, and uh, if you enjoyed this video, feel free to Leave a comment, like, subscribe. I'll be making some more reviews of the equipment that I have, as well as my traditional finger style videos. So join me on this YouTube journey, and uh, I hope you guys can follow along for the ride. Anyway, it's Marco Geich here. Wish you all the best. Take it easy. Bye. From your lips, she drew that.